again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 8th of February, 2019. Article on CBS Chicago, Channel 2. Written by Derek Blakely, B-L-A-K-L-E-Y. Posted on the 6th of February. New gun bill would require buyers to reveal social media history. Chicago, CBS. Before Nicholas Cruz killed 17 people at Florida's Parkland High School last year, he posted images of guns, bullets, and a dead frog on Instagram. And before Marine Ian David Long gunned down 12 last year at a California bar, he posted on Facebook, I hope people call me insane. Got a couple of questions. First of all, I don't think Nicholas Cruz killed anyone. I think we need to look at the social media accounts of those four SWAT officers that left the scene of an active school shooting. You know, the four guys that threw the duffel bag into the back of an F-150 Ford? Those guys. How do we know that those postings weren't done by the dark state? Huh? This is something my community is demanding action on, said Representative Daniel Deitch, Democrat, Buffalo Grove. That's why Deitch is proposing gun buyers reveal their public social media accounts to Illinois police before they're approved for a firearm license. What do you think they'd say if they took a look at my, what, 24, 25,000 videos? Huh? Quote, a lot of people who are having mental health issues will often post on their social media pages. They're about to hurt themselves or others, Deutsch said. We need to give those people the help they need. Pro-gun groups are outraged. When people look at this, everyone who has a Facebook account or email account or Twitter account will be incensed, or should be, said Richard Pearson with the Illinois State Rifle Association, but the ACLU is opposed as well. Rebecca Glenberg with ACLU Illinois says the bill doesn't say anything about how that list will be retained or for how long and what use it might be put to. Hey, Rebecca, we know what use it will be put to. They'll take away the Second Amendment rights of anyone that posts anything that's truthful and disagrees with the government narrative. The First Amendment group worries police scanning social media may show bias. A person's political beliefs, a person's religious beliefs, things that should not play a part in whether someone gets a FOID card, Glenberg said. How about people like me that get taken off of YouTube, taken off of PayPal? Taken off for GoFundMe, huh? <laughs> but Deitch isn't deterred. Quote, it gives Illinois State Police additional tools to make sure that dangerous weapons aren't getting into the hands of dangerous people, he said. Hey, Deutsch, it's a little too late for that, huh? Deutsch says his bill is less intrusive version of a similar measure that's been proposed in New York State. That version allows police to recover a gun license applicant's entire browsing history. Even Deutsch says that goes too far. <laughs> I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think. You sure as hell know what Deutsch thinks. You got a good idea as to what ACLU thinks. And you sure as heck know what I think. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.